Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I am hanging out in one of our hawkers right now. Uh, this is a, one of our 800 XP hawkers. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about something that I thought I would do a little Tech Tuesday video about, and that is aircraft stalling. Uh, one thing I wanna get right off the table right away is the difference between aircraft stalling and engine stalling. Engine stalling is when the engines shut down or something like that, and most people that drive cars are familiar with engine stalling. Aircraft stalling is very different. It's aerodynamics and it's related to when the airflow over the wing detaches from the wing and you can no longer produce lift. Uh, this typically happens when you get uh, too slow when you're flying along, uh, and then the airplane will stall. It can also happen in other situations like when you're pulling high G's, things like that. You can stall at a much higher airspeed, but we're not gonna get too much into that. That's more aerodynamic intensive stuff. So we'll leave that aside for right now. We're gonna deal with more what the uh, corporate uh, pilots deal with when it comes to stalling, and that is basically when you're just going too slow and you forgot to push the power up when you leveled off from a descent or something like that, and the aircraft stalls. So we have two stall indication systems on the Hawker. We have a A channel and B channel, left side, right side, and they are attached to the uh, AOA indicators that you guys have seen before. Those are on the side of the airplane. If you haven't seen that, check out the other video. You can see about the AOA indicators. Uh, that stands for angle of attack if you aren't familiar. Um, but for right now, we're gonna skip over the AOA indicators and talk more about the uh, prevention systems in the airplane. So again, we have uh, the A channel and B channel, and each of those provides a signal for a stick shaker. That's the, hey dummy, you're going too slow. You need to speed up a little bit. And it's literally the yoke sh shakes violently. And I'm gonna show you that here in just a minute. Uh, and then if you keep going, you don't speed up and you get a little worse, then you get into the stick pusher where the airplane literally takes over, pushes the yoke forward to bring the nose down and try and add more speed to the, uh, to the airplane and try and recover from a stall situation. Now these happen before you get into that full stall. I'm gonna just throw some, some numbers out here just as a ballpark, you know, it's gonna vary based on the weight of the airplane and the uh, configure if you, configuration if you have uh, flaps out and things like that. But, you know, let's say, it, you know, the actual stall speed maybe is 98 knots. The stick pusher would happen at say 90, uh, maybe 100 or 102 knots. And then the stick shaker may happen at like 106 or knots or so, 107 knots, something like that. So it, it's not gonna wait until you get all the way into that stall as you're slowing down. You're gonna get the stick shaker pretty early. And then again, like I said, as you slow down a little more, then you get the stick pusher. If you keep fighting the pusher and you hold the nose up, then eventually you'll get into that stall situation. Um, I actually did get to go out in one of our hawkers and do this with a test pilot about a month ago when the airplanes get repainted and they take the uh, wings apart, they have to go out and actually do a demonstration of this to make sure that it doesn't roll uncontrollably and things like that. So I actually got to go out and sit right seat with a test pilot and do a full stall all the way into the stall and let the nose break. And uh, it was a very eye-opening experience, something very cool that most of us don't ever get to see. So uh, very, very neat. But uh, what I wanna show you guys today is the stick shaker and the stick pusher and what that looks like. So we have two buttons right up here. This is stall one, stall two, and these are the test buttons for them. And uh, I'm gonna push those and when I do, the yoke is gonna start shaking uh, pretty violently, like I said, uh, and I'm gonna hold the yoke back with one hand while I push those, and then eventually we'll get into that stick pusher situation. Now, to get the shaker, you only need one system to give you an indication that you're stalling to get the stick shaker, but to get the pusher, you have to have both channels agree that you are actually stalling. So for me to get the pusher, which is a hydraulic signal, uh, I have to get both systems tested up here. Now, uh, the hydraulics, like I said, you know, it, that's what does the, uh, the stick pusher, the stick shaker does is uh, electronic. It, there's actually a, a big motor back here attached to the, uh, the yoke itself, and that is what provides the, uh, the shaking motion. Kind of like in your phone, just creates a vibration, but it's a little, little more intense. Um, but again, the, the pusher comes from hydraulics. Now, the hydraulics have to be on with the engines to, to maintain hydraulic pressure, but when the hydraulic uh, pumps are off through the engines, it has an accumulator that holds a little bit of a precharge that can give you a stick pusher. So uh, it looks like the precharge should be charged up enough to where we're gonna get the pusher. Sometimes from the airplane sitting for a few days, that, that accumulator may bleed down and it won't give you the pusher. So I expect it to give it to us, you know, maybe it'll give us a couple of uh, tries at it, but in case it doesn't give me the pusher, that's gonna be why. So let's test it out and, uh, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the yoke back, I'll hold it with my right hand, and I'm gonna hit both the stalls and, uh, and we're, gonna, we're gonna get it, it's gonna get a little loud, uh, so bear with me here, but here we go. There it goes, all right. 
Yep, we did get the, the full pusher. And, uh, and another thing that, uh, that happened along the way is I, right up here, we got the, uh, the stall vein lights lit up. Those are the red lights. Uh, I'll do it one more time so you guys can see what it looks like. But that's what it is. It's, it's something hard to miss. When that stick starts shaking, you're not going to miss that. It'll wake you up. Uh, and then the stick pusher, like I said, it pulls the yoke right out of your hand. It's going to be, you know, several thousand or a couple thousand PSI of pressure pulling that yoke away from you. So you're not going to be able to fight against it very well. So I'm going to do it one more time, show you guys what it looks like as a, as a second go of it. So here we go. There it is. Um, now, the, the hawker doesn't pull it super violently. It, the, the pusher kind of pulls it gradually to, to just push the nose forward. Um, now, the Gulfstream, on the other hand, it pulls pretty hard and violent when you, when you get the stick pusher on that airplane. Man, it comes in like, like a shot, and it really pulls that yoke. It'll pull it right out of your hand. So, little difference between the airplanes, but that is the, uh, the stall prevention system on the Hawker. So hopefully you guys learned a little something about it, what it's, uh, what it's like to get into the stall, and more importantly, how we uh, know that we're in it and getting out of it is obviously the most critical part. Uh, when you're learning how to fly airplanes, this is one of the first things you do is uh, stall prevention, uh, stall uh, recovery. Uh, so they'll actually have you get into a stall and then you'll learn how to recover out of it. So something we all learned how to do, this is the, how the hawker warns us about it and tells us, uh, hey, uh, hey, idiot, you're, you're going too slow. So anyway, hopefully you guys like it. Give me the thumbs up, like the video, and uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new, obviously hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to try and get you guys some more Tech Tuesday videos as much as possible, but we've been pretty slammed, so getting, uh, getting out here and doing this stuff is getting a little, a little tough sometimes, but like I said, I'm going to do my absolute best. So hopefully everybody's doing well out there, and uh, we'll talk on the next one. Keep living the corporate pilot life.